just finished off the last of our pineapple ginger soda and I'm so sad that it's gone but I saved that one bottle for the longest and just had to but as I use our ginger bug for free entertainment just watching the little volcano eruptions that happen as uh, the fermentation process happens I did notice that there's been less of that lately and I did realize it's been a while since we've kind of refreshed the majority of the ginger so that's what we're doing today we're going we've, we've drained off a good bit of the juice to or the the culture um, we've harvested it in order to make um, some sodas that we're going to be doing with the last of our muscadines and here we have what we've drained off so far I've had a, just had that sitting and I've gone through and kind of pushed through to get any extra fluid out that I can and that's what we have that's what we'll be using to make our soda out of this however is very useful still there's a lot of flavor there still and with the fermentation process I personally believe that that flavor does intensify intensify quite a bit I use a, a tablespoon of it here and there in um, like when I'm sauteing up green beans I love to add that it adds a nice depth of flavor to the saute it's very good with some olive oil garlic and if you really want to get fancy add a drizzle of honey and some sesame seeds oh y'all I'm telling you okay but anyway that's another video this right here is still very useful don't just toss this away and if you do don't throw it in the trash just put it in your compost pile at the very least but if you want to get even more creative you can take this and freeze it into little ice cube trays and when you need a little ginger flavor in some uh, a deal uh, a dish of some sort or even if you just uh, have an upset stomach and you want to just get a little bit of ginger tea this still has a lot to offer in fact again because of the fermentation process it may even have more to offer than fresh ginger so just keep that in mind if you want to get more creative and get the very most out of your organic ginger this is another step that you can take and it's really simple literally we're just going to take this there's still a good bit of moisture in this even though i've you know let it sit here for a little while i'm going to take it and i'm just going to literally put it in ice cube trays i'm going to let it freeze and then i'm going to pop it out the next day and stick it into baggies and freeze it and then as i need it i will take it out you can also take this and um instead of putting it in baggies like a ziploc bag you could uh, use your food saver and um, just kind of do a few cubes at a time the amount that you think you may use or need for any given dish or recipe or need that you and your family have and go from there so when it comes to being a homesteader you really are looking at using every single thing that you can because you're looking to live off the land and you're looking to steward the land which means not overusing it and making the most of what the land can give you now next year we do plan on really investing our time and energy into planting ginger and turmeric we tried our hands at it did it in pots learned a lot and we're ready to take that knowledge to the next level so stay tuned for that i thought i should mention too real quick I, as i was getting ready to start this process i was like let me go back and just add this little piece of information if you're going to be using this for sauteing um, then you can go ahead and mix in your favorite oil let's say you use avocado oil for your sauteing go ahead and mix in a little bit of avocado oil and go ahead and put it into your trays just like that then literally you're gonna drop it and just saute if you use extra virgin olive oil you know whatever it is you want to use you can go ahead and do that you could also do it in water but like I said since there's a lot of that um, fermented goodness that's still in there I'm just literally gonna pack these into the tray like so and just freeze them like that okay simple 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 because I actually may be using this um, I have upset stomach sometimes a lot of digestive issues that I have um, inherited um, 
which is why I got into fermented foods. But sometimes I may just need the ginger in like a tea form. And sometimes I may be cooking with it. And so since we do a lot with it, I want it to stay as plain as possible. It makes it more versatile. I don't really see the moisture as you push it down. So yeah, this is gonna be great. So we just rinsed out off our ginger and um, the company that we've been using that is distributed by Walmart is um, Melissa's Organic Organics. Melissa.com is where you can order it directly and I may start doing that since this has become a thing. I may just order uh, it in bulk but anyway they operate out of Los Angeles so that's kind of cool. And I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna start my ginger in the spring from some of these um, rhizomes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna um, break these into smaller pieces, put them in the blender, blend them up, put them in a jar, stick it in the refrigerator, and I'll start feeding with, I don't know, something like a cup of water, um, a fourth a cup of sugar, and a fourth a cup of the ginger bug. I'll do that every day for a while until we build things back up and then I'll continue the process. So it's probably been in this jar now for about a month and some change. I'm gonna say two months. Let's say two months to be safe. And so this may be something that I do every two months is just go ahead and um, pull off about half of the ginger that's in there and take it and freeze it and it's going to take several of these trays in order to freeze all of that ginger but since we're using distilled water and we're using organic ginger and organic cane sugar this is just too valuable it's just like throw away i'm just not gonna do it can't do it won't do it and look at how healthy this ginger is look at that i could take that and break it right there in fact, I might take that piece and just stick it in some dirt. I don't know. Every piece that we've gotten from them has been really good. And the wild yeast that um, we'll collect at the bottom of our jars as we are doing our fermentation for carbonation, even at the bottom of here, I have to go through and stir periodically. The wild yeast is just very nice very healthy culture of it so i'm gonna stick with them as long as i can i'll link the direct link to melissa's organics.com put that in the description um but like i said i've been getting it through walmart but that may be about to change So I'm taking a break outside and I decided to do some editing and so I was working on this video that you're watching now and y'all I got so tickled was going back and listening to my son in this following conversation. Oh, was one side of the conversation. We gave um, one of his uh, close friends some great jam, um, him and his wife and and this is him talking to them about the jam. And I guess I was so focused on what I was doing, I didn't even realize what was being said in the background. It's just, it's so funny to me. So, our, one of our upcoming videos is going to be my son in the kitchen making jam with me. And when you watch this, son, now you know why. Well, she has her own process. I mean, just like you make any other jelly. Oh, well, um... I'm not the person to ask them like, how to make jelly. Even though I sit here and watch her do it, I can't tell you what to do. For all I know, she puts magic cookies in there and then it comes out 
Actually, 